Hey everyone, this is Carrie from Soundproofist, and I've made a new jackhammer video to show you the performance once again of Quiet Rock Drywall during a jackhammering project. This new video is for some of our viewers who expressed that the previous video showed the noise was louder by the front room and that the quieter noise in the back room was probably because of the distance from the front and not because of the quiet rock and the green glue walls. Well, I knew it wouldn't be long before the city workers started a new jackhammering project right in front of my building, and sure enough, they came back recently and started jackhammering again perfect opportunity to do a new test. So this time, I measured the jackhammering again by the front window, just like before, and then I backed away from the window about 12 feet and measured again. Then I went into the bathroom, which is in the back, and I measured the decibels there. And finally, I measured the decibels again in the quiet rock room. You'll notice that the noise is actually louder in the bathroom. It has a single pane window and it doesn't have wall insulation or quiet rock in there, but it's farther away from the jackhammering. And once again, the quiet rock room had the best results, but it's not ideal as you'll see. There's a large window in that room and there's also a wall heater vent, so noise can still come through if it's loud enough and it was definitely loud enough. Ready for the test? Here we go. So in conclusion, here are the results. With the front window open, the noise ranged from 68 to 80 decibels. With the front window closed, from 64 to 70 decibels. In the front room, but backing up 12 feet from the window, it was about 55 to 68 decibels. In the bathroom, with the door closed, it was 55 to 70 decibels. And in the quiet rock room, with the door closed, it was 50 to 65 decibels. I hope these videos help you to decide if you think it's worth it to use double drywall with green glue in your own home. Obviously, jackhammering is one of the worst noise problems you can have, so even soundproof drywall isn't going to be 100% effective. It's up to you to decide if you think it's worth it for other kinds of noise issues. Thanks for listening and watching, and to learn more about noise and acoustics, visit us at soundproofist.com. Sure.